Now, a story that nobody wants to talk about, but I think we really should talk about. And it follows an interview in The Spectator magazine with Dominic Raab, who, of course, isn't just the Secretary of State for Justice, he's also the Deputy Prime Minister. And Raab was saying in this interview, talking about immigration, whether people have come here legally or illegally, but discussing all of this. And Raab, of course, was the Foreign Secretary, who said that up to five million people from Hong Kong could come into the United Kingdom. It's a lot of people. Now, that's not to suggest all five million would come, but he equated that with Priti Patel's family, who, of course, came from Idi Amin's Uganda back in the early 1970s. The difference is 28,000 came from Uganda. Hundreds of thousands will come, I've no doubt, from Hong Kong, and who can blame them for wanting to do so. But the point is this. Taking back control of our borders was a big Brexit message. Uh, reducing the sheer number of people coming to Britain was part of what the Conservatives got elected on in 2019. And it's pretty clear to me that Mr Raab has no real respect for this. Whilst he says, you know, issuing 100,000 visas to people to come in from Europe to solve the lorry driver shortage is not the answer, he does say that he's open-minded about the 60,000 people that are currently being housed in this country, asylum seekers, illegal immigrants, use whatever term you choose. But he's open-minded about them joining the workforce. Now, he says that once people uh, become integrated and speak the language, uh, that we'll have a better and a more harmonious society. But here is the point. Once people who've come here across the English Channel or in the back of a lorry or by whatever means, once they're in the jobs market, there is not a chance of any one of them being deported. They will claim their human right to work. Uh, they'll be defended by lawyers. And what Mr Raab is doing here, and perhaps the reason the other broadcasters don't wish to have this debate, is because it's all too difficult, is actually what he's doing is giving the best message that the criminal gangs in Calais have ever heard. Get to the United Kingdom illegally, and the Deputy Prime Minister will not just house you, not just give you pocket money, he'll also get you into the jobs market so you'll be guaranteed you can stay in the United Kingdom. If this proposal of Raab's uh, becomes real, then you can forget about 17,000 people crossing the English Channel in the first nine months. You can, you can multiply that figure several fold next year. And we need to have a proper debate. This government actually needs to be held to account because it made a series of promises to the British people, certainly on immigration, certainly on numbers, and it isn't keeping any of them.